What's going on, late night peeps? My silly little mother. R.I.P. Lou. God bless him. I'm tired too. Twelve thirty. I'm tired too, but <clears throat> I had to talk tonight. Hey, K.Y.P. What's up, friend? Good to see you. You're up late. Auto Mags. What's going on? Husker number one. Vim Man two. Fro Girl three. Jeff Fo. Lou Bones. Ambi. Hey guys, you're the one staying up late with me. I'm all right with that. Armand, Luck13, Scarred, Volkovich, Money, Daniel, what's going on? Mike, Pat, 1230. Moody, how you doing, Moody? Good to see you. Queefer, woo, you're Friday. Today you're Friday? That's nice. Too bad I'm not a Jets fan. Why would I be a Jets fan? When was the last time they won a game? All right, a playoff game, I should say. That's rough. Sorry, I don't want to be mean. Guys, what a day. Did you guys uh, see that pal meeting? Well, I mean, this is just what? <laughs> it's, like, it's like nothing is real. Nothing matters. <laughs> it's just like we're going to stare straight at the data and just say, F it. <laughs> we're just giving the market exactly what it wants to hear. This is the uh, most, it's just, it gets more insane by the day. It gets more insane by the day. The freaking, he goes up there today, they hold just like I thought they would, and then he gives Wall Street hope by saying, well, he didn't say this, but in their um, dot plot, put out three possible rate cuts coming up, and the market went, whoo, and went absolutely bonkers. I mean, 400 points up for the Dow today, S&P up 46, NASDAQ 200. S&P hit all-time highs, Dow all-time highs. It's sick. This is like, it's just, you have to laugh. Nothing matters. No data matters. Oh, who cares? Inflation's still rising, and we say we got to get it down. Who cares? You guys are going to get cuts. I still don't think they will cut, but he's he obviously isn't ready to tank the market yet because he, he's either bald-faced lying to them or... They're just abandoning the plan, which based on their actual actions versus what they say, I don't think he's abandoned it. But we got Bitcoin starting to come back up. This is what's interesting to me. Bitcoin was up and uh, and gold hit all-time highs today too, which shouldn't happen when the market's hitting all-time highs. So <laughs> nothing matters. Nothing matters. I, that's my day. I was like, what am I going to talk about tonight? I was I wanted to talk about PAL and all that and what's going on in the economy with the markets and but today was like the most the most like i i mean it was the most confounding way he could have come out and approached everything because it wasn't we'll we'll cut rates and make me completely wrong all right and like we're we're, we're doing a rate cut now it wasn't that it wasn't uh, we really need to be careful because inflation is going up. No, it wasn't that. Instead, he just towed the line, which I did not see coming in a million years. Oh, oh, you know, we're being careful, but we still plan on cutting rates. It was like the most, uh, you couldn't have made the markets happier. You really couldn't have. It's It's crazy. Kit, you're right. I agree with you. The cuts never happen, but not priced out. Fed are in a pickle. They have to lie. I listen. I totally agree with you. I totally agree with you. But um, but the way he came out, man, I I don't know. He when I watched him at that hearing two weeks ago, he showed some backbone, and I felt like today he he chose the coward's way, and uh, wasn't what I expected. I mean, look look how happy the market is. The futures are way up after the. Uh, after their baller day, futures are way up. Gold is just going nuts. Silver, twenty five ninety one. I mean, what? 
it's just kit talk talk to me nothing makes sense nothing makes sense nobody cares this is like the most insane just effort economy ever the um the markets get everything they want and nothing else matters that's that's where we're at and uh i just never seen anything like this before um this is worse this is so much worse than 08 it's so much worse um what's going on mario's here what's up man so now what linda telly good evening atlas trading case dismissed what's atlas i don't know what atlas trading is what was that one miss kickoff i did i jumped right into business tonight it's it's late there's not a lot of people on i figure you know give the people give the people the stuff give them the good stuff let's start early and uh, i'm tired it's been a long day um and uh you know it's one of those days where you're just like this is one of those days where you just want to go to sleep and wake up the next day and just be like okay let's start again let's let's start again um at least our stocks weren't killed I mean, overall, GTI barely down, but I mean, fingers up, ZJYL barely up, but at least it was up. I mean, the market seemed to rise there. DWAC had a great day. Wow. But um, what happened after hours? Finger gets killed, but everything else pretty good. Um, but yeah, it's just one of those days where it's like you, uh, you know, I, I'll be honest with you guys. I am... Um, I'm rooting for a market crash. I am. I'm invested in that. Not a crash. I don't I don't need it to go like a hundred, you know, percent down, seventy percent down, anything crazy like that. But I know how fake it is. And I just wanna see I just wanna see it happen. I want I wanna see us finally do something real and right and there's still plenty of time left in the year. Don't get me wrong. But this was one of those days where I was just like, my God, he is he is literally just telling them exactly what they want to hear um, today as much as he can so that the market just, you know, gets that boost. And uh, and it was just it was like it was shocking to me. It was shocking to me how he did it. Not that he did it, but how. So but um, anyways, Mark, social media platform, Reddit priced its IPO at the top of its target range, 31 to 34 a share wow did it go ipo today i missed that you're watching warcraft nice <laughs> um well julian i'll tell you what the um as far as predicting the market crash i haven't even been trying to predict timing it's impossible i do think it happens before the election not after i do but I also, I can see a scenario, let's say I'm 70-30. 70%, 30. 70%, they, they crash it, or at least let it go before the election. 30%, uh, they wait till right after Trump's elected, and then they let it go. I, I could see it go either way. I, I could see it go either way. But um, but does it happen this year? I feel I feel very confident about that. I think 80-90% goes this year. Yeah, I would bet on it if I could. Um, this is... It's just everything is such a mess right now. It is such a mess that um, I, I don't. It's it's like the uh, it's like seeing a house that you know um, it should be condemned and it's just standing up in the neighborhood. And no matter what hurricane hits it or what tornado hits it, it somehow stands. When you also know that if you just went over and pushed it, it'd fall over. <laughs> But nobody's pushing it. And instead, the realtor is talking it up about what an amazing investment it is. When it's clearly, you look at it and you're like, that is the crappiest, most grossest thing I've ever seen. And that's what you see. But everybody else around you is talking like it's a gem. And and yet, somehow, even every time it gets hit, you're like, finally, it's going to go. And we can start, we can, we can take over this property and make something beautiful again. And the, But no but it won't die. That's how I feel about this economy and this market. It's, uh, it's disgusting. It, it really is. It's, it's the, it's the, the eyesore. I just want it to go away. Um, Tom, we're good. We can't predict the day of the collapse. Absolutely. I agree with you. Yeah. Ocean sailing research has to do with torchlight. SEC accused them of pumping up SEC lost. Really? SEC lost. Wow. I'll have to look into that one. 
Yeah, Chipotle, the 50 to ones. I did see that. Kit says, let the spy go to 550. We loading on the spoofing. Cannabis crushing again. Going tomorrow afternoon meeting. GameStop going to crush EPA boost Tuesday. Um, well, now I believe you because if GameStop, which, by the way, how is GameStop making all this money? Um, not saying they won't. I just, I'm now I'm just talking as purely as a uh, as a gamer, or used to be a big gamer. I don't understand where they're making all their money because people aren't buying used games like they used to. They're buying more digital, so I just don't understand how GameStop's killing it. But I, I'm interested to see it. Yeah, GTI's volume was super low today. I know, weird. Hey man, what's up? We need a huge ramp. That means crash market. Okay with that? Like they say, it'll bounce back. Yep. But the real is how high? Like six thousand spy. Uh, I don't know. I mean, at all of a sudden that David, whatever his name is, looking smart on the possibility of the spy going over 6,000. Now, he's one of those guys who, he's a smart guy. A lot of his predictions have been wrong, especially his timing on predictions, and so that's why I didn't trust it. But you know what? I mean, I've had a lot of people tell me, like, I've had both sides, right? And so far, the ones that were like, the market's going to keep going up for a while because uh, they're they're totally right. But um, I still don't understand how they knew. <laughs> but um, but I also know history says it has to correct at some point. <clears throat> it has to. All the, all the indicators are there. Ocean, this happened when MMTLP halted. SEC can no longer use investigation as excuse for not giving blue sheets. Oh, wow. Well, that's a good news. Get the blue sheets out. What's up, Jeff? What doesn't make sense, MM? Kit, you like that Chipotle move, but not buying it till crash point? Yeah. I'm worried about, um, <clears throat> I, I mean, Chipotle, the price it's at is crazy, even though I ate it today. Toe cramp. Trump will save and quickly bet on the admin's job is to destroy it, take the blame, so Trump can usher in a new system. We'll see, Toe cramp. I hope, um, I mean, I hope you're right. I do, I know a lot of conspiracy stuff is true and I've, you know, seen a lot of it come true. Um, the one of them I'm not sure how true it is, is how much in control all this is in that, in the way you're implying, but um, definitely could be. So now uh, you heard there's posted warnings for the eclipse to have extra food and water kind of strange. That is strange. There was a cyber attack on a bunch of water facilities um, yesterday too, which is nuts. Winnipeg Jets, Jeff. <laughs> like it. I could never get into hockey. Darren, what's up? Kid dropped SGNL dramatically. Stores are generally packed here. Really? But I yeah. what's up, Vince? Oh, you could go back. I mean, maybe do it on two times. You'll catch up fast. Twenty five cent dividend for um for GameStop? That'd be interesting. All right, let me go through some here. This was big today. I'm not going to go too far into it because it's just politics stuff. But I do recommend you guys watch this Bobolinsky today, uh, congressional hearing. Anyways, just speaking of crookery, this just made me happy. So that's all. That's the only reason I'm sharing it. Uh, anytime more of this corruption gets outed, it makes me happy. So when the markets were making me sad, this made me happy. So I want to share it. <laughs> um, GTII. Three days red candle, but MFI trending up. Now, it is interesting. I like when the chart guys get excited because uh, they see stuff I don't. So um, we'll have to see what happens here. But volume was, as uh, ESK just said, was nil in GTII today. Uh, let's see if we start getting a turnaround here soon. They barely kept it down today uh, amidst a sea of green. Now, usually when things are this green... GTI gets hammered. Not every time, but a lot of the time. But not so much today. They barely got it down and uh, barely volume. So it's pretty interesting to me because usually, you know, I, I think a lot of times when the market is rising like this, they take the liquidity they're making and they use it to short more. Um, but not today. So that's uh, that's pretty interesting. And man, the world we're living in, nothing makes sense. I guess we need to smoke or snort the nonsense they've been talking. <laughs> Maybe we'll all just give in and go in on that side no i can never do that no matter how angry upset baffled i get i'll tell you what we all have bad days <clears throat> but i always come back and see and when you see what's going on you just can't give up you know you just can't and um i remember 
during the Bush presidency, especially towards the end, when I started kind of waking up to what a mess it all was, and then the eight years of Obama, everything felt so hopeless. And then we got Trump for four years, and then that like everything cha- started changing so fast in so many good ways, and uh, and then COVID, you know, you just gotta hold on, and when things turn around, they can turn around fast, and that's what I ha- hold on for. So, seen it in my own life too, in other ways. So you know, you just can never give up, no matter what what it looks like. On March 15th, the Washington State Supreme Court approved alternate way to earn a law license and will not require a bar exam. Second to Oregon, another disaster. Oh, my God. They're going to let you get a law license? <laughs> wow. That's wild. What's up, Crito? You on afternoons? <laughs> Nine to fivers up late. Yep. Let's see. Anger could go up. Okay, Mark. I'll look at it. David Hunter. That's it, Jeff. Thank you. Joe, what's up? Alerts. Let's go Wolf. Did Wolf have a good day? I didn't see Wolf today. It's due, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, Wolf, nice day today. Wow. Put on the watch list. Okay, I will. Yeah, never give it up. Ayuk, he, Ayuk's not going to the Steelers. We're not going to let him go. He's a top five receiver, and we have plenty of cap space. We're not going to let him go. Ali, is Alpine a market maker? Is this why the stock's following? Following the ask is 27, the bid's 28. Um, Alpine's not a market maker. It's a prime broker. So... Um, it, it, I don't think it has anything to do with it right now. In fact, I don't think Alpine can even do anything right now, um, while they're waiting for that stay to go. So finger bounced off 192, closed 216. Yeah, I know finger, uh, but down in, um, down after hours, but yeah, fingers showing coming back, uh, quick from going down too far, which is awesome. We'll see if it goes all the way down to, um, uh goodwill's 140 hopefully not let's keep moving here all right so this is how good our economy is 22 states that's nearly half are officially in economic contraction i was actually surprised california's not on here with the great exodus they've had but california is always funky because it gets all those uh all that tech money so that's probably keeping california afloat but as you can see uh washington montana alaska alaska's kind of always there and so is Maine, but um, there, it's it is a mix of red and blue states, but it's mostly the poor red states, and then the two biggest blue states other than California, Illinois, New York, um, and Michigan's up there. This just kind of tells you what you need to know. Virginia, right where Washington D.C. is, Maryland. That's this is bad. This is where, that's where a lot of the wealth of the nation is in these states: New York, Illinois, these blue states. As I said, California is the only major blue state that's not contracting. And then you have all, like a lot of the poor, the poor red states. Um, but this is, you know, it's so awesome. We're just going to we're just going to promise rate cuts and not try to get inflation down. <laughs> I think we underestimate, too. Well, I know we underestimate how much inflation is actually pushing up the prices on even the market. So um, interesting stuff. Mark, 49ers, 2025, let's do it. (laughs) Oh, man, that would be awesome. That would be so awesome. Kit, can we call IBKR and get them to spoof CJ Whale lower, please? (laughs) You want it lower? You want it lower to scoop them up? I mean, 343 today, closed it up six cents, down five, or up five more in aftermarket. Yeah, CJ Whale's real rough, but, yeah, I mean, they have to get it under one to 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 be able to cover and make money this shorts do we'll see we'll see if they can try it brett the chart is off the new unfunded liabilities for california is 222 billion a year beyond contraction okay the real reason california is on the list new some charts you leave <laughs> that's probably true okay so yeah add california to that then you have all the biggest blue states uh, which is pretty wild as far as ec- economics are. You have the biggest blue states. And uh, yeah, I just, I find that really interesting. And then you have like the super poor red states. Louisiana is kind of a purple state. Um, Oklahoma is pretty poor. And then Montana is just wide open ranges. I don't even know what their economy is if it's not um, uh, 
if it's not tourism right now because of all the uh, the oil stuff that Biden Biden signed, so they can't can't do oil um, as much on the land. So yeah, that you can sell. Uh, this is this is great. This is great because that's probably half the biggest economies in the nation, including California, it would be the biggest. So awesome. That's our our great economy. Let's keep moving. All right, good old Jerome Powell. I don't see cracks in the economy or unemployment. The only risk I'd see is something unexpected. Those are not his exact words, but they're basically what he said. And th- I actually, I was so, um, I was so kind of stunned by how this went down. I, I created a YouTube short from it, and just I wanted to show like the uh, the the craziness of what he says because. And I don't know if you guys have seen it. I'll, I'm going to pull it up right here. Not to, uh, I'm not going to play it, but just to show you guys um, what I what I created. But pal, right here, it's like he says in this clip. He says that they they expect to cut this year, but he also very coyly says like, but we might not. He's like, he's like, but we'll see what happens. Uh, there might be some unexpected things happening. We'll, we'll see what the trend is of the economy. So he's talking out of both sides right there. It's, 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 a, it's a bold move. And everybody, of course, runs with the fact that he says, oh, it looks good. Cuts. The, the other crazy thing was he, he admits that inflation's up. And he's like, yeah, but, you know, sometimes that's how it goes. Sometimes it just goes, but it'll still go back down. I'm like, what? What is happening? So it was pretty confounding, but um, I recommend you watch it. I think this is the most important clip, the 60 second clip in there. So um, to check it out and just see what he's thinking. Um, What was that, Mark? Private equity firm Apollo Global Management offered 11 billion for Paramount. Wow. Robert, what's up? Brett, if New York and Illinois are on the chart, California has to be there. I agree with you, but sometimes that tech sector holds them up. But like um, someone just said, they're $222 billion in unfunded liabilities. When you put uh, – Brett said that. And, um, and Brett, I'm guessing that includes like pension funds, stuff like that. David, 190th. Film studios considered the jewel of the Godfather breakfast to Tim's. Yeah, oh, yeah. Paramount's huge. Jay, what's up, man? Please, Ace have been pushing certain tickers in our communities type of stocks. Mentioned 2,000 times about NWO is the best cancer stock. Cam finally mentioned it today. Yeah, I mean, I've told you many times. Um, Jay, I mean, well, you, you and I have talked about it many times on here. Uh, every time you bring it up, I, you know, I talk about it. Um, I haven't done my own research on it, but I knew that Ham had talked about it, and uh, or at least he knew something about it because we've, Hey, we had brought it up before. Um, so there it is right here, Northworth Bio. Um, looks like it's in a rough place right now, but it sounds like you're expecting a big turnaround here. Biden still thinks Jimmy Hoffa's run the unions. <laughs> he probably thinks that Al Pacino is Jimmy Hoffa. That's that's where Biden's at right now. He's like, it, uh, that that's that's how far um, along he is because uh, you know he he watched the. Uh, the Irishman thought it was the real Jimmy Hoffa. Pal was like Han, Stor- Han and Star Wars saying everything is fine. No worries. Oh, yeah. I <laughs> love that part. It's fine. No worries. Never tell me the odds. Um, all right. Let me keep moving here. But, oh, going back to this. Um, he He's posting this because it's funny. He said in on uh, a month ago, the economy was booming. Then the thing hit 2024. And honestly, after today, that's very, I mean, it, it sounds exactly like that's the narrative that's being played out right now. And we got to remember, I mean, the economy sucks. The uh, inflation is still climbing. Um, the, uh, the banks are struggling bad. Nothing's helping them. Powell also said today that even though they're not cutting right now and they're also not raising rates, he said they plan on continuing to do quantitative tightening and basically unloading all their asset, um, 
they're getting rid of everything they bought up with a quantitative easing when they were just pumping money into the system. So that mo- that liquidity is drying up. Um, he's not stopping that. But of course, nobody talks about that. The markets don't care about that, even though that's arguably more important to the liquidity than the, the rates. So, but it doesn't matter because it's not the narrative. And, and that's what's so frustrating. You think DWC could go to 100 next week? What, what makes you think that? <laughs> Biden thinks once her full life, it's a new movie. <laughs> How would I split up 1,500? Um, Darren, great question. Uh, right now, if I just put 1,500 in, um, I would, I, I'm not going to buy much more ZJYL right now. Uh, if I had 1,500, I might put like 200 into ZJYL. And then I'd, um, Fingers at a really good price right now. Uh, I would buy up some of that. I'd probably spend another hmm, seven, eight hundred on, on yeah, let's say eight hundred on finger, and that's my thousand, and put five hundred into GTI. That's what I do, and I that way I get a grip more of shares of finger and GTII. Rumble forty three percent short could explode with DWC. I I hope so. Okay, yeah, you can't fight 22.5% real inflation versus five and quarter percent. Simple. All it is, lip service, revised bad numbers month to month. 100%, I know. And that was another thing that I, I was actually surprised with is he he used the uh, the inflated job numbers as uh, as his basis. He did not use the revised job numbers, which means uh, in pal smart, he knows what the real numbers are. But he really was just playing it up to the crowd today. They really could just be pumping up this market uh, just for the biggest rug pull ever that we could really be seeing. Could it be sell in May, then the market drops? Who knows? Who knows at this point? They're going to keep it going for a while, um, but it might not be up to them. It very well could be that Powell knows it's coming. And it's out of his control, whether it's bank failures or what. And so he's like, I'm not going to be the one who breaks it. And that could very well be what's happening. He's like, I'm not going to break it. So I'm not going to, we're not going to raise rates. I'm not even going to cut right now because we just can't afford to. He's like, I'm just going to leave everything alone and give the market what it wants so they can do what they want to do. And then this thing that's about to break, when it breaks, no way can blame me. And that's, you know, people will still blame him, but it, it won't be like he's the trigger. And so that's, that's interesting. Uh, will pump, will Trump pump DWAC? Who knows? Oh, they've been wit- witch hunting Trump forever. August layoffs outweigh new jobs. Yeah. The layoffs are uh, increasing. I saw today there's a major company. Um, God, I can't remember it off the top of my head. But I was surprised how many they're laying off. Uh, a big layoffs coming for it. Jay, would I please pull up on the internet's curl? You bought it 10 cents. You think this will go eventually 20 times to 100 times? Curl, huh? I'll look at curl. Uh, nothing's coming up. KURL? Yeah, nothing comes up on uh, for the market for symbols. Fed was pressured to drop fake market. It's possible. And man, it goes back to the video of KG saying they make up the price for the stock, so it makes sense for all market makers moving this to the upside. Well, yeah, I mean, I agree with that. It's just when they they run out of um, room, they can't do it anymore. Like, Fowl couldn't push them into a corner. That's that's what I'm saying. Market spike will be short-lived. Probably, yeah. It's a duck kit. <laughs> um, Rum dog, anything exciting happening today? Yeah, I mean, our Fed chairman just lied to all of our faces and pumped the market. That's what happened today. <laughs> American DWAC pull a, G- a GameStop. Wall Street bets starting to go viral. Oh, boy, really? Well, that's not always a good thing anymore. You know Wall Street bets is controlled by the hedge funds now, and it has been for about two and a half years. So if, uh, if they're pumping it, they're probably going to try to rug pull retail with it. That's that's what I'm thinking. There's a reason why Wall Street Bets is it becomes a uh, a badge of honor of how much you've lost on Wall Street Bet stocks. And they post about that all the time. Thank you, Mark. Yeah, like, subscribe, share, appreciate it, guys. 
Brett, also did I see Joanne's fabric filed for bankruptcy? The whole crafting craze during COVID, obviously going to make Joanne's a casualty of it. Oh, wow. I didn't know that. That makes me think of Peloton. Peloton soared uh, a lot of it thanks to COVID, people buying those bikes. Bikes with TVs. That's really all Peloton was. I always thought it was the stupidest trend. And uh, anyways, they got killed after. I'm not in any Bitcoin miners other than Wolf. I've, I've been in and out of Wolf. Rum could squeeze. Yeah, I don't know if it's coming soon. Um, I think they need a little bit more news uh, to, to push it. But they're doing a good job. They're really doing a good job fighting back with their PRs and stuff. Um, but we'll see if they actually get a good earnings report. Kid, if they place a time schedule tomorrow to expedite reclassification or VA gets expanded approval, all cannabis goes way higher. Okay, I'll keep a lookout on the cannabis stocks. Can't forget the Rico. Oh, yeah, Rico, AOC. Rico's not a crime. <laughs> that happened today, too. Oh, my God. What are we doing? What is going on in this country? I don't recognize my country anymore. I don't. I love it. I'm not going anywhere. I'm going to fight for it, but I don't recognize it right now. Yeah, the Peloton. All those stupid COVID trends, man. They got wrecked. Um, Kit's saying the cannabis stocks could take off based on... Um, some of this uh, reclassification or approval for the VA. So um, watch out for that. Kirsten shares this, which I, I love Kirsten Shaughnessy. She finds, she just gets a lot of great stories going on, but it's not nearly as healthy as Washington wants you to think it is. A record breaking number of Americans are making emergency withdrawals from their 401k retirement plans in order to cover a financial hardship. According to Vanguard. But Hey, it's amazing. Our economy is amazing. This is the best economy ever. Thank you, Joe Biden. Thank you. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we doing? It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. AOC is a walking felony of the of the mind. Um, <laughs> I can't share any news to Ham GTI. Ham did a talk with William today though, and he he uh he shared as much as he can on there. Listen, Ham has to lead the the way on that. If Ham shares, uh then I know I can share stuff. So uh you know so you can listen to him on William today. AOC's <laughs> What's up Thomas Dubois? Is the story of Kenny G a rest warrant where no it's not Kenny G named in it. They said there was, yeah, the best, best worst president, Joe Byron. <laughs> they, um, there is, there is an arrest warrant out for some market maker. That's it. And, um, and I didn't watch the video it was sent to me, uh, but there's nothing that says it's Kenny G. Now, if it is, that'd be awesome. But do you really guys really think they're going to go after King Griffin in election year? I would be very surprised by that um very surprised uh he's citadel is one of the reasons the market is doing what it's doing i mean that guy is one of the guys who controls you know controls everything so i i would be very shocked if uh if they do if they go after him right now mm agrees on the c cannabis stocks that are heavily shorted during amc run listen is anything not heavily shorted anymore <laughs> I think that's where we're at. You know, Pedro, uh, when he was on a few weeks ago, which I need to, he's due to come back on. Um, he was talking about how he, he believes, and I've talked about him with this privately too. He thinks there's hundreds of stocks in the position like finger and GTI, not necessarily with the, the potential to go as high because there's just unique factors in that. But, but what he means by that is there's, hundreds of short squeeze opportunities right now uh because of where we're at because of how bad the market is and pedro one of his big things and i'll tell you what guys so far he's been right about a lot one of his big things is is praying that it doesn't all go at once because if it all goes at once like there'll be so more money than they could ever cover and so his hope is that they it goes one at a time because that way they can keep finding the money you know uh and listen, I don't think we all came here and to, it'd be almost impossible for them to all go at once or close to all at once. But, um, 
but yeah, he's he's been sitting out a long time. And that's one of the reasons why you guys can bring me new stocks every night, whether it's Jay or Kit or, you know, whoever. Uh, why you guys are always finding new stocks. And one of the reasons is there's so much opportunity because of the fraud right now. It's unbelievable. It's just a matter of when will any of those that actually catch on run. Because it seems to me that most of them, um, once they know retail's in them, they... they they hold them down as long as they can. Now they won't win forever, and I, you, I want to be here if I believe that. Um, and you guys know that. That's why you watch me. But if, uh, but they are going to hold them down as long as they can. And that's why even like ZJYL, I, I'm telling you, I think ZJYL was a hedge fund play where they wanted to short it, blow it up, make a bunch of money, just like an HKD. And it didn't work for them because retail found out about it. And, and that's why they haven't ran it now because they're going to lose money instead of make it. And, uh, you know, that's just how I, I see it. Chris McGinnis, when they, when they going to legalize cannabis, the entire sector has been squashed. A lot of those stocks have squeezed there. It's not going to be legalized nationwide with this government right now. There's just no way. What's up, Randy? Oh, rest warrant, not restaurant. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> See, and there's another one. Chris McGinnis, Holy Guacamole, TLRI has an insane gamma wrap. So I'm telling you, all these things are crazy. Yeah. Most of the ganja plays did splits. XRP, please try curl again. I mean, I'll I'll look. Uh, I'll try it on Market Watch this time. Last time I tried curl. Yeah, I don't see anything for curl. Is it a crypto or something? Because it's not coming up. Oh, here it is. Oh, it's K-U-L-R, not K-U-R-L. Is that? Yeah, that's got to be it. K-U-L-R. Oops. There we go. Is this what you're talking about? Hmm. I'll, I'll look at it. Interesting. Do I think the VAC stock will pick up? <laughs> I, I don't have high hopes for that one. Brett, when you get smoke marijuana at Yosemite, that's when it's legal, but until then it'll remain a schedule one. Yeah, Yosemite. I have lots of friends who smoked in Yosemite, trust me. that's I grew up in by New Yosemite. It was my backyard. Unilever laying off 7,500. You know what I think it was? That was doing a bunch of layoffs and closing stores. I think it was either, I think it was Dollar Tree. Yeah, that's interesting. Oh, Curl with a C. Okay, I'll look at Curl with a C. There's Curl Leaf, okay. Curl Leaf Holdings. Two curls tonight, huh? We love GTI. Yes, we do. I still greatly believe in it. All right, okay, let me keep going here. I want to get through everything I had. I don't have much more. <clears throat> All right, let's just go over the summary of the Fed decision today because these matter. These definitely matter. Uh, leave rates unchanged, which I said they do. This is what I was shocked at because everybody else, Vanguard, remember I showed you the other day, they were to the point where they say no rate cuts, which, trust me, I believe Vanguard over the Fed right now because um, they're actually doing analysis. The Fed has other reasons for this. Uh, also, the market's pricing in too now, which I'll show you in the next post. But anyways, they're they're doing three interest rate cuts, but he said we won't know when we start. I'm telling you, if there's a rate cut, it'll be September at the earliest. Core PCA inflation forecast raised to 2.6. They raised the inflation forecast, and he still keeps the rate cuts. At the, I just, yeah, it drives me nuts. Fed says inflation is eased but remains elevated. Fed does not expect rate cuts until greater confidence inflation is moving to 2%. Good luck with that. This, If this is true, they will not cut this year. Fed now sees two rate cuts in 2025, fewer in 2026. What happened to the Fed pivot? But anyways, the market still loved it because of, of this right here. They just, they loved it. They loved it, they loved it, they loved it. They got everything they wanted. Um, and this was right before the Fed stuff came out for the first time this year prediction markets now showing just two rate cuts markets are expecting less rate cuts than what the fed guide and now the fed just guided uh three again in march so <laughs> it's just 
But three months ago, market saw up to eight rate cuts. Anyways, market doesn't care because Dow's up 400. But meanwhile, billionaires are cashing out. Michael Dell sold 145 million worth of Dell, bringing his total sales to 500 million over the past two months. Dell joins billionaires like Zuckerberg and Bezos offloading hundreds of millions in stocks this past month. Interesting. Why is the stock market going up and yet all the billionaires are selling? Huh. 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 You know, someone once told me, if you want to be successful, you find somebody who's really good at what you want to do and you just learn from them. Well, if the stock market is going up and yet all the billionaires are selling, I don't know. What does that tell you guys, huh? <laughs> What's that tell you? Oh, excuse me. Sorry, your pot gummy time, Jay. <laughs> That's okay. You just got a little, a little flip there. <laughs> Kit, you're going to stop talking specific stocks or they start spoofing. I know GameStop and Finger are beating EPS, so those I don't care. Yeah, there you go. I mean, GTI and Finger, we've been talking about GameStop in, in that case too. They've all been talked about so much, it doesn't matter. You're exactly right. But these other stocks, uh, if it's a new one and you catch it, I mean, I get in a small community, you're fine sharing it. But yeah, once that gets out there and once it starts trending on Twitter, uh, Wall Street bets, all that, I think it's almost like a death knell. Not not forever, but it pushes it back, you know. Mark, it's pretty ridiculous. Marijuana is still a Schedule One drug, just like heroin and fentanyl. It, it is, it is. Marijuana is legal in Michigan. Yeah, I mean, it's been legal a lot of places. Colorado, California. Who actually went into reefer rehab? I don't know. Brett, discount retail giant <clears throat> Dollar Tree announced Wednesday it'll shutter nearly 970 of its family dollar stores. A serious problem in the economy. Yeah, that's what I was telling you. Yeah, that's the one I saw that blew my mind. Dollar, uh, dollar Tree. Like, who's not shopping at Dollar Tree these days? But... They remember they bumped it up to be 125 everything, and now they're shutting their doors. It once it stopped being Dollar Tree two years ago, they had to raise rates, they had to raise prices because of inflation, and that's killing them. That's crazy. A thousand stores, Dollar Tree should be the number one store in the nation right now. It should be because people are buying cheap, and yet it's disappearing. But hey, everything's fine. We're not going to cut rates. Everything's great. <laughs> I mean, I'm sorry. We are going to cut rates coming this year. It's because everything's great. The economy is wonderful. I, <laughs> this is insanity. It's insanity. I'm not keeping up with land grab and hating Cuba. I can't keep up with everything. There's too much going on. This is March has been one of the craziest months of news in my life. As far as when you consider the politics and the economy, it's impossible to keep up with everything. I've, I mean, Haiti is insane. I don't know what's going on in Cuba. Would you tell me about direction, Jay? <laughs> Mad Max, j and analysis set target 200, 600 after DWAC merger. Really? Two to 600? Hmm. You think Kohl's is going out next? What, uh, Kit, was there some news on Kohl's? Thomas, you actually went to a required... Up and smoke state run class of marijuana is required per your DUI. <laughs> Little they know it's scientifically educated in sacred plant. <laughs> oh my god. The sacred plant. That's funny. And when I tier Target's possibly going to charge a membership. Walmart's going back to cashiers. Walmart, yeah, I did hear about Walmart. I didn't know that Target would charge a membership. Are they gonna charge a membership or are they gonna do like a Walmart Plus type deal for themselves? I'll tell you what, I got Walmart Plus for six bucks a month. It is well worth it. You get um, 10 cents off gas. You get um, free like daily shipping. I get stuff delivered all the time. It's way faster. And um, I don't know, I save so much money using it. And you get Paramount Plus for free. So it's a pretty good deal. Yeah, stores are losing a lot of money. Absolutely. Yeah. Thompson, you graduated you halfway through the class, proving them having 20-year-old. Oh, that's funny. Kid, exactly. Lindy probably spoofing ZJ Wells so he could take off and take that money into finger. Same with GTI. I think they have to help to hold it all down. Citadel. Maybe. I mean, I still struggle to believe Citadel cares that much about our little stocks that when they um when I don't think there's enough money in the invested in them 
for it to be worth their time because these are not GameStop level uh, stocks or even close, even whatever. But uh, these are small companies with like not a huge uh, market share. But you could you could be right. You could be right. It could be Citadel or it could just be uh, one each of them, you know, but it's just their they each just have the uh, what's it called? Um, the look that these market makers and stuff look for. And they just run up one here, one there. ZGOL is a Chinese stock. And that's what they were running, remember? HKD, TOP. Um, that's what they were running and making all those that money off those massive runs. But um, And I think ZGOL was loading up to be that next one. And it kind of was. I mean, it went from 4 bucks to 300 or whatever. Um, it's just that they didn't realize they were also going to get trapped while doing it. But who knows? I mean, you could you could absolutely be right. Kit, Coles has the vulture capitalist BOD destroying the company within. Really? That's interesting. I won't miss Coles. I never liked that place. <laughs> Brett, you can't wait till Trump beats his BS. 450 million fine in New York. Oh, yeah, they'll, he'll win on appeal. It, it's, it is. It's crazy. It is way beyond. I, I mean, New York's losing so much business from it as a result as well. It was just pure. And I also saw something about anger on that judge getting a uh, 10 million dollar um some kind of payoff i i saw something on it i didn't validate it but i i saw that anyways somebody was researching it and put it out there goodwill tommy d 25 year da daily cannabis user here oh goodwill well now i trust your stock picks <laughs> you high all the time <laughs> Citadel LLCs I believe that friends. You're probably right, Kit. You're probably right. You know more about this stuff than I do, I'm sure. Thomas, you were the one behind the changing of the definition of cannabin. Cannabin. Is this what we're doing now? We're just talking about what to do, the one? Is this becoming a pot? Uh, you know, I'll tell you guys. I've only smoked once in my life. I didn't care for it too much. And then twice I was high off. I had one time somebody gave me um, pot-baked uh uh, dried apples they were delicious i got high off that and then the other other the third time i was high was i got uh contact high at a red hot chili peppers concert that's it that's my three times and i just it's not for me i don't know it just doesn't do it for me but um i'm not i'm not saying i you know judge you guys it just it doesn't do anything for me I know Thomas James said that Ken Griffin thing. I don't know. It sounds to me like he needed a video idea. <laughs> I'm just saying. I don't believe it. The crooks have their hands and everything. I yeah, I agree with that. You got big personal news, the one? Well, you better share it. Jay, your favorite robotic stock you've been investing in heavily is because it has a contract with Walmart. Your favorite robotic stock. Okay. Which one was that? Brett, Thomas James, that dude steals content for everybody. If he told me the sun was out, I'd still go outside to verify. <laughs> I, I don't have a good, um, I, I don't have a good record with Thomas James either. And he, I, just his, his, the way he does his videos. Listen, God bless them, content creators. It's it's tough. I get it. You gotta stay relevant, and that's why, like, I'm happy. I'm glad I've built my channel the way I did. I just do it the way I want to. I do it the way I can at my leisure and I just be me. I don't have to come up with ideas. I don't have to, I'm just me. This is just like me talking to you guys all the time. This is how, this is how I really am. If we were all sitting at the poker table without the screen on, this is exactly how I am. I just, I just talk about stuff. I just think of things. And I talk about it. So I built my, but I know I've been on the other side of it where I did have to come up with stuff all the time to try to be catchy and always focus on growth. And, um, and it's hard. So I get it, but, uh, I just never cared for his stuff. I don't care for his presentation. DWAC merger than Trump wins appeal. You're right. It could really go somewhere. It was medicine is made illegal by cotton industry tycoon DEA. I mean, I don't doubt you, Thomas. Brett, you realize I came on like, anyway, everybody hit the like button. Yeah, please, guys. Please hit the like button. 
and uh, yeah, subscribe if you're not already. I do appreciate it. And I just said, I don't care about growth. I do care about growth. I just want to grow on my way organically. So that's, that's what I want to do. Just be myself. Um, I need to smoke better pot. No, I'm good, David. I really am. I like alcohol. I like alcohol and I like smoking uh, cigars. I'm good, man. I'm 40. I'm not, I'm not picking up a new, new, uh, new habit of new substance habit. I'm done. I, I found what I like. I found what I, I'm good at. <laughs> I'm going to stick with it. <laughs> I'm set in my ways. Brett, I don't have to explain anything. My content's spot on. You always provide the receipts. Thank you, Brett. I appreciate you saying that. That, that honestly really means a lot to me. Thank you. Okay, be yourself. Listen, I'll tell anybody who wants to do content, marketing, whatever you want to do. Uh, if, if you are stepping outside of yourself and pushing so incredibly hard to make it work, you're eventually going to burn out. That's all there is to it. You'll eventually burn out and people will find out you're a fake. And you also have to live with that fear all the time while people find out. But if you do it slow and steady and find some, find who you are and, and you, what you love to do and, and find, find a way you can do it in a way that's sustainable, then you can play the long game and you get to do it the way you want. You know, I have, I'm I'm at almost like 3,700 subscribers on this channel. I'm you know in in a year I might never pass 5,000. I might never pass 10,000. Whatever. A lot of other people have those numbers or way beyond. I might never pass that, and that's fine. I'll keep doing this because I just enjoy it, and uh, it works for me. And then if it gets to the point I'm I'm done, I'll I'll be done. But um, I don't think I will because it's just who I am. I just like talking nonsense and uh you know and i'll just make little tweaks here and there hey by the way the one you never shared your news buddy reefer madness was a hilarious old movie <laughs> tim Harmon, you totally stumbled the gt i think it was a pot stock back in the times of teal or why oh yeah there there is a green thumb industries yep so tim you you accidentally stumbled in with us i love it well i'm glad you i'm glad you found us What's up, Dave? Vin Man, how is it hard? How hard is it for Citadel to apply an algo that creates fake shares? Pfft, not hard at all, I'd imagine. Kit, you're 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 an ace groupie. <laughs> you guys are funny. Dave, you need to smoke a brisket. <laughs> I would love to smoke a brisket. Dave, you're 68. Great pot, great beer, best of both worlds. Trust me. Oh well, well, we'll see. You tell me. You're an old hippie, I'm guessing. <laughs> you don't. <laughs> pixie sticks oh god thomas every human has an endocannabinoid system psychoactive reactor okay now you're nerding out on me i'm listen it's way too late for me to get into that i can't you, i'm gonna nerd out lyrical what are we looking for on look out a finger in gti as a shareholder in the coming days um gti is supposed to be releasing a 10k towards the end of the month with uh information about a merger or some kind of deal I don't know exactly, but that's what not legal said as far as the date. So, um, so I'm looking out for that. And as far as finger goes, I know that I know that I know finger has some great stuff going on behind the scenes that I can't talk about, but I know it's happening. And, uh, I'm honestly surprised they haven't announced a lot of stuff yet, but I do believe it's coming soon. And, um, that's it, man. We're just playing this waiting game right now. And in the meantime, I'm most of the news is in the economy, which I believe could be the ultimate squeeze trigger. In fact, probably the the most likely one. And uh, and so you know that's what I'm doing. So, oh, thanks, Mark. I appreciate that, man. I really do. If GTI goes to a thousand, I'll have a hundred K followers the next day. Maybe, you know, maybe that will be what's called the tipping point. Like Malcolm Gladwell says, there's a tipping point. You keep doing some. It's like going up that hill all the time, and then all of a sudden, you never know when it'll happen. You hit a tipping point. We'll see. But that'd be pretty cool. That'd be pretty cool. I, you know, if I could do this full time someday or something like it, if I was doing this full time, trust me, I'd have a lot more people calling in. There'd be a lot more I'd do. But um, I just don't have the time to put all that together most of the time now. Although I'll tell you what, I was offered a very cool guest who I'm trying to put it together. Uh, somebody that's kind of out 
out of left field, would you? No, no way you guys could not be able to guess it. But once you saw it, you'd be like, "Well, that's pretty cool." Actually, well, a lot of you, most of you would know who he is. Some will not. Um, but I'm trying to put that together. It'd be the biggest guest star I've ever had uh, on this and to do an interview with. So, I'm trying to put that together. That'd be really cool. It was offered to me, and I was I'm, I was pretty shocked once I saw who it was. So. Goodwill, you also found GTI on accident? That's hilarious. Up in smoke, Brett. Oh, my God. Listen to you guys. That's <laughs> so funny. <laughs> yeah, there's a lot of pot talk going on tonight, Miles. This is the pothead, the pothead life. <laughs> Jay, you kept confusing. Two stocks with similar tickers invested both at opposite times. DWAC, DMAC. <laughs> Pixie sticks, you mean tight sticks? I love it. The one, you've been manifesting some serious things, and me and my wife have been blessed with six figures today. W what? Are you for real, the one? Six figures? That's awesome, man. What happened? A bonus or a big investment come through? Congrats, man. Hey, throw some of that uh, favor on the rest of us. That's awesome, dude. Congratulations. That's amazing. Would be strange if GTI is working on a cannabis play? Yeah. I don't think that's it. Lu oh, I wish it was Luongo. No, if it was Luongo, I'd announce it because I've been wanting him for a while. I actually got to reach out to him. I'm going to try to get him. I've seen him do some channels that are uh, smaller than mine, so I think I could get him. But, um, yeah, I definitely want to have Luongo on. I, I have a couple of people I'm thinking about. The problem I have and the reason I don't have more guests right now is because it's really hard for me to do videos outside of these late hours. And that just makes it hard to get guests. I'll be honest. So, but um, I'll get there. <laughs> Jr. knows who I'm talking about. <laughs> He's the one who's putting it together, <laughs> or at least introduced it. Brock Purdy. Brock Purdy's a sweet kid. He's not going anywhere. Trump. <laughs> There's no way I could ever get Trump. Are you kidding me on this little channel? Trump gets the big ones, man. He, he's he's not he's not coming on my channel. Although if I had Trump, that would be amazing. That I'd have a million subs subs overnight if I got Trump. But he's you know he's so big. It's it's crazy. He's literally the most famous person in the world. Good luck. He's more famous than Taylor Swift. Yes, the one. Yeah, man. Spread that love to us. Lyrical. Citadel's been using some form of AI algo for some time. Been interviewed of him talking about people training. Power. Yeah, I agree with you. Yeah. Citadel's, uh, they got, um, and BlackRock has Aladdin and all that. So we're the only ones still awake. The rest of the world sleep. <laughs> but, well, guys, hey, I'm hitting an hour. It's like Ben Shapiro. Now, it's nobody so famous that it's like impossible to get. Trust me. I, I'm still small time. But this is somebody who they've written a couple best-selling books. Um, they they had their heyday more of the late '90s, early 2000s, but still a very well-known person. Has over 300,000 followers on Twitter. So there's your hints. Hosting <laughs> with Joe Rogan, Farva. <laughs> I should get Farva on here. You want a liter of coke? <laughs> You think he spit on? Does that look like spit to you? That'd be so funny. Yeah, I'm I'm not big enough for Joe Rogan either. Everybody's been selling our training data, even DTC. Oh yeah, you know that's all absolutely. So, anyways, guys, I'm gonna phase out. It's late. I still got work tomorrow and the next day. I will be live tomorrow, uh, eight forty five, nine o'clock ish, and uh, mm -hmm. I'll be on longer. You know. Um, well, I'll give you guys a uh, more energetic live tomorrow. Mm -hmm. But um, Friday, I'm gone. It is, uh, is my wife's birthday this weekend, and Friday, her and I are going away. Um, so I won't see you guys Friday or Saturday, and then Sunday, members live. So uh, so to tomorrow will be my last public live probably until Monday, just letting you guys know. All right, so heads up on that. Uh have all your stuff ready. Hopefully, uh, some we get something good and interesting happening tomorrow. But um, yeah, so I'll just I'll uh, if if listen if you're heading out, you're new, 
or please like, subscribe, share. I appreciate it. And uh, I'm going to, I'll end in a prayer. If you don't want to pray, that's great. God bless you. Have a great night. And um, I don't, I think there's some housing data coming out tomorrow. Yeah, I think there is. So no, I'm not having a woman on right now. Um, but I eventually I'd love to, if uh, it's the right one, but all right, let me uh, pray to end it out and, um, and I'll see you guys tomorrow. So, all right, father God, thank you for this group. Bless all these potheads. <laughs> but but in reality, just great people. Um, thank you for this community. And uh, God, everything's such a mess. It's such a crazy mess. And I thank you that you've given us, um, a lot of us, the ability to see through it with by reading the actual data and just growing us in um, wisdom and knowledge all this time and waking people up left and right. And, uh, and I just pray, God, we just get justice. And that's, that's our prayer every night. But um, also just bless everybody here. I thank you, God, that the one and his wife got a major breakthrough today financially. That's amazing. And uh, thank you for that. And I just pray more of that, God. Uh, we just ask for more, for more people who need it. Uh, more six-figure blessings just popping off and blessing people uh, who really need it. That would be amazing. And so um, you love to show off. And so we celebrate with him. And we ask for, for more for everybody, God, to just uh, start – start breaking through financially in this, in this hard time. So when the, the economy is just nuts and inflation's hurting all of our wallets. And so, but bless us all with wisdom and peace and joy moving forward in Jesus name. Amen. All right. All right. Bless you guys. Have a great night and I will see you all. Where am I going? You, yeah. You're not following me on this one, buddy. <laughs> you guys have uh, 